this video we're going to be having a look at the different ways that you can connect to a local area network or a LAN and there's two main ways of doing this. You can do it wirelessly or with cables. The wireless option is known as a WLAN or a wireless LAN and there's two main big brands here that are used. There's Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Bluetooth uses short range radio technology and is much better for a personal area network, for instance connecting your Bluetooth headphones to your phone or your smartwatch. You can have up to seven devices connected over a 10 metre range and it uses low power and low cost and it allows you to transfer both voice and data at the same time. However, it is very limited on the area that it can cover. Wi-Fi is another brand name which people are starting to use to just mean wireless network. It can be used over a much wider area, so you might have this on a home network or even an airport. It's faster than Bluetooth and allows lots of devices to be connected as long as you have a wireless access point that transmits all the data to them. So it seems to be much better for wireless local area networks for a business, for instance. So if wireless technology is so good, why on earth would people plug in a cable to the back of their computer? With a wireless network, you have great flexibility about where you work within that geographic area, and you can move your devices around without cables getting in the way. However, there is a big advantage of using a cabled LAN, and that advantage is the speed of data that can be transmitted between devices. Cables can transmit data a lot faster than the radio waves that wireless and Bluetooth use. And there are two types of cable you need to be aware of. There's copper cable and fibre optic cable. With copper cable, the data is sent using electronic signals down a copper core, which is insulated against outside interference. Now this is the cheapest type of cable that you can use, and a lot of the old telephone networks used to use this technology, so it's widely available even in rural areas. However, the signal does deteriorate over time and so you would need to have a booster to get that signal going again. However, it's not as good as fibre optic cable. Fibre optic cable uses a highly transparent plastic or glass core and transmits light rather than electronic signals. And it can transmit this data a lot faster than the copper cable can. And that's because photons travel at the speed of light whereas electrons travel a lot slower. And so the data transfer speed of a fibre optic cable is much higher than a copper cable could ever hope to achieve. However, it is quite expensive. It needs to be installed in some areas where it's not yet available.